Hello beauties, your girl Eunice Marie here and so today I have a DIY video for you guys. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to get out more DIY videos. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this shea butter face scrub or it can be a body scrub. It is shea butter base and it has sugar, shea butter, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. It's actually one of my favorites and I made a few for um, of my customers. So I'm gonna share with you how I make this. It's really simple and it's effective. It works really, really well. So if you wanna see how to get this, just go ahead and keep watching. All right. Hello there beauties, you guys can't see me. But um, today we're gonna be doing a DIY project. I'm so happy because I've been wanting to film a DIY for you guys and we are gonna get back into the flow of things. Well today we're going to be doing a DIY shea butter face scrub, okay? I made this for one of my customers and she loved it and I actually liked it a lot. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and personally make one for myself. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys what you'll need and all of that. You need a measuring cup. And this is a Pyrex measuring cup. Then I'm going to measure out my shea butter and everything that I input into this project. And then of course I got my shea butter. This is by from Butters and Bars. It is a big, big bag of shea butter. I am going to be using almond oil as well as grapeseed oil in this um, face mask. Sugar, just regular old pure sugar, nothing special. And then I'm going to be using this two ounce jar to store it in. So to begin with, keeping in mind that this is a two ounce jar, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to melt down the shea butter. I'm going to melt it down a little bit, not all the way to four, this is four ounces here, a little bit less than four ounces because I am going to put in sugar as well as my oils, so I don't want it to go over two ounces. So I'm going to keep it below that four ounce mark, okay? So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the shea butter. Now this bag of shea butter is really huge, you guys, like I have to like scoop it out with this little spatula thing that I have. But I, I don't know if I really like the shea butter in the bag like this. I don't think I will buy it like this again. Um, just because it's just a little bit harder for me to scoop out. Oh, um, that's probably too much. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out some. Like this. You see that? You see that? That's probably a lot of shea butter. That's probably all I need, actually. Because I'm going to melt this down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this into my Pyrex. And I'm going to put this on the stove um, in some water some boiling water or steaming water and let this melt down before I add in my oils or anything else so yeah I have melted down my shea butter keeping it under the four ounces so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my oils I don't know which way I did this before but that is kind of the fun thing hold on make sure you guys are in shot there it goes it's kind of the fun thing about just eyeballing stuff like I don't use exact measurements that was the grapeseed oil that I just put in there I don't use exact measurements and all that stuff. I, I just eyeball it. And a few pumps of the um, almond oil. Because what I want is that I want for this to get solid. I don't want this to be a liquidy or anything. I still want it to maintain that solidity from the shea butter. So I'm not doing too much. Next, we're going to pour in our uh, sugar. And the thing with the sugar is that I don't want to put too much. Just enough to where it's thick. Or either it can be thin, but I don't want to put too much sugar in there. We, we are a little bit under four ounces, which is exactly what I want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour it into my jar. You guys, this is a simple recipe for an all natural face scrub. Um, nothing that is too much. So I'm going to take my jar and I'm just going to pour this right into my jar. You see all the sugar that's slip that went down to the bottom you want to make sure that you get that into your jar because that is the whole point if you don't have sugar in there what is the point of it being a scrub so you want to just get it all in there because naturally sugar is going to probably go down to the bottom um, but you want to make sure that you're getting it all in there I'm gonna throw this into the freezer and I'll be right back all right so um this is like the next day you guys it took a while for this to set usually it doesn't really take that long but I have to pop it in the freezer um, for it to kind of set a little bit more because it took a really long time yesterday but this is what it looks like it's kind of 
spilled over a little bit, but you can clean that off with the type of like towel or anything like that. But you want it to be of this consistency and I'm around the back side of the camera. Let me come around the front so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be the consistency of it. It's gonna be solid, but not too solid. If you can see, I can put my finger right into it. It's just like really creamy, really creamy. All right, so yes, this is the final product. Um, just a very simple, easy, moisturizing exfoliator for your skin. I think this is best, very, very best. <clears throat> if you have dry skin, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Somebody like me who has more of a oily skin texture, I wouldn't really use this as often, um, but it is good to have, I think, for every skin type, but I would say especially dry skin. Um, you can slightly wet your skin and apply this as well as you can apply it right to a dry patch on your face without any water or anything. Exfoliate that part and then rinse and wash and you will see like it immediately change, okay? So yes, that is my DIY, and I love this DIY. I love this product. It's one of my favorites. As well as if you want, you can go ahead and check out my Etsy shop. I have an Etsy shop at www.bodycare. Sorry. I have an Etsy shop at www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash bodycare by Eunice. Unfortunately, this product is not up on my shop yet, but maybe it will be by the end of the day. So you can definitely go over to my shop if you don't want to make this on your own. And you can go ahead and find this along with other products that I sell that are all natural, handmade by your girl, Eunice Marie. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And see you in another video. Bye.